Okay, now I'm going to go back into the X window system exactly as I had the uh, configuration set up before. And we're going to modify the X in the RC again. And again, let me make it larger so you can see the words. And uh, what I'm going to do this time is start a panel along with along with the X window system. And I'm going to start it last. So we so you can see here in this configuration we've got the terminal starting as always and we're going to start something called FS panel and you'll see what that is in uno momento. Okay, I'm back at the command prompt. Now I'm going to start the X window system with the X term and the panel. Okay, you can see the X window system booted up here like normally. At the top we have the uh the terminal as always. We still have nothing, no no window manager running. Down on the bottom we have this little taskbar which is pretty empty, but it's different. You can see that there's something new down there. This is called FS panel and what it does is it it's a very primitive panel system that allows uh, you know similar to like a Windows 95 type panel and if you click on that little thing on the side there it'll move it to the top if you click on that it'll move it to the bottom and you can cycle through virtual desktops with it and it has a clock in the lower right corner which you probably can't really see but um, that's basically what FS panel does now when I exit um, when I exit the terminal emulator again the uh, the X window system does not stop because down here at the bottom <clears throat> the FS panel program is still running and again because there is no window management system running and this panel doesn't have any features to exit all I can do is press control alt backspace to get out of the X window system now I'm going to go back into the X window system yet again modify the X in it RC file yet again and yet again I will make the text large so you can see what I'm doing and this time the only the change I'm going to make is I'm going to start an actual window manager this time the window manager I'm going to start is called evil WM that's the only thing I'm going to do at this point so the only thing running when the X window system comes back up will be evil WM there will be no terminal there will be no taskbar Okay, I'm ready to bring the X window system back up with just evil WM. Here we go. Okay, the X window system is up and running. As you can see here in the uh, on the screen, there's absolutely nothing to look at. This is this is evil WM by default. If you right click on the desktop, it does nothing. If you left click, there's nothing going on. There's no panels to look at. There's no contextual menus. There's not a whole lot you can do with evil WM in this default configuration. Um, you may think that there's no window manager running at all, but in fact there is. But uh, in this particular configuration, it really doesn't do a lot of good to have it running. So I'm going to kick out of X and make one small modification to the X init RC file to have it automatically start a terminal emulator when X starts up. And uh, we'll continue running Evil WM also. Okay, I'm going to go back into the X window system right now. And here you can see a very familiar looking interface. Uh, but the one thing I do want to point out here is the there we do in fact have a window manager at this point. And that means for the first time we can finally move windows around the screen. That's kind of the purpose of the, the window manager. And that's the primary point that I want to make. The, the, the main separation between window manager and the X window system. The X window system by itself does not allow you to do this because there's no borders, there's no X minus, there's none of that. The window manager gives you the ability to move windows. <clears throat> and you may think that this window manager doesn't look like much because you don't see any particular, you know, toolbars or desktop icons or any of that. There is in fact a one pixel border around this window. You can barely see it and uh, but it is there the way this window manager typically works is you hold down the alt key and you click anywhere inside the window to make the window move but you can in fact mouse over this one pixel border and move the window that way it's a little harder to do for the fact that 
uh, that's only one pixel wide, obviously, so it's kind of hard to hit it. It's a lot easier just to point the mouse cursor somewhere inside the window, hold down Alt, and move it around that way. But suppose this window is not large enough and you want to resize it. Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. Probably the easiest way is, again, to hold down the Alt key and center click on the window and then drag with the mouse. And you can see what that does. That allows you to resize. That's also an important function of the window manager. The X window system by itself does not let you resize windows. There's no way to resize windows because that's the job of the window manager.